Hi everyone, so just shooting a little video to help with uh, Scratch and maybe having the situation that people are asking questions around. If I have a quiz, so I've got a quiz that's asking what is 5 times 2, uh, I'm going to run play, I'm on purpose going to answer incorrectly, it says try again and it just slows on to the next question, it doesn't uh, let me, uh, well what people are asking right now is to have a situation where people can't go further unless they get the question right and how do we achieve that. There's probably many ways to achieve it, but one way I know how to do it uh, is the following. Um, I'm going to break those blocks up and then going to go to more blocks and say make a block. And I'm just going to put here question one into that block there. And let's pop that onto that first one there. Uh, and then I'm going to make a block for question two. Question two. And let's pop that onto that one. So with our blocks defined, what we then do is we can run our question one and two. Now, if I press play, it's actually going to do the exact same thing um, that happened before. But what we can do now is we can slot in here. Um, if they get this question wrong, uh, the, what is five times two, they answer incorrectly. We can drop in else, say try again, and go back to, twi to question one and we could probably do the same for that one. So now if I run my uh, run my executable, what is five by two, I'm gonna press eight, try again, and then it says what is five by two again. So we can you can have a situation now that people can't progress onto the next part of the code unless uh, they, they get that right. So uh, I'll put in there 10, uh, it says well done, and you can see that the code now asks me the next question. Okay, I hope that helps you.